What is up guys? I'm bringing you the famous Initial D Toyota Trueno. Now, this is another drift tune in Forza Motorsport 5 and by far one of my best drift tunes. I've only done about uh, two drift tunes, so this is my second one, but I'm not going to lie. This is actually probably one of my bests and that's just because I've been getting a lot more better at the physics of Forza 5 and throughout this video I'm going to discuss ways to help you guys. If you guys are having difficulty with the drifting in Forza Motorsport 5, hopefully what I say in this video might help you guys. And if you guys want, I could make a how to drift video, even though there's been like at least five other YouTubers who have already done it. So I don't really think there's a point of me um, telling you guys how to drift, but you guys might want to hear my end of the story, how to drift in this game, but I might as well just share it right now. So what I've noticed big time is that in Forza Motorsport 4, you could rely on more of your momentum with your car weight. So, I mean, what I mean by that is I could literally drive maybe 60 to 100 miles per hour at a turn that's maybe almost a 90 degree angle. Freaking hit the gas, I mean, hit the brake, handbrake, and just thump the pedal and I could just go. My rear end would swing out and I'd be gone. In this game, if you try and do that, you're going to spin the fuck out. You're going to like, you're going to spin, hit a wall or something. And if you don't even use the handbrake, let's say you use the handbrake for a little bit, your car is just going to keep sliding. It's not like, for some reason, it doesn't grip. I've tried all sorts of methods using different tires, you, you changing the tire pressure to make them more uh, soft. Because I find if you have really hard tires with a high PSI, it's going to make it so your car slides more because it's hard tires, right? It's obviously physics. You, a lot of people should know that. But that, that didn't really do much. And what I've noticed, and it's kind of stupid, is that you got to rely on your handbrake a lot. I mean, you got to hold down your handbrake like for at least five seconds per turn and make sure that you're, that you're safe, you know, and make sure that you're going at good speed. And also, you can't really thump the gas pedal like you did in Forza 4. You gotta kind of ease off and then go back on and just kind of keep keep control, which is more realistic. But the only thing I don't like is the fact that you have to freaking hold on that e-brake. Like that's just me personally. That's what I've noticed. And I mean, I'm doing good when I'm doing that. I just don't really like that. You know, I enjoyed in Forza Motorsport 4 having a lot of momentum in my cars and just being able to swing my momentum and just go with that. In this game, you can do it and like a lot of people have done it. I do it. When you you know when you get those drifts and it's almost like a reverse entry, that's pretty much swinging your momentum in this game and they made it a lot easier to do a reverse entry in this game. But it's so challenging just to not hit a wall but by doing that that it's more so forcing you to use your handbrake. Like Tell me what you guys think about this, and I really want to see the comments. Guys, please leave comments what you think of the drifting in this game, and what problems you've had, and ways to overcome those problems. If you're someone who just doesn't know what to do, read the other people's comments. They might have useful information that might help you. Listen to what I'm saying, and maybe try what I'm doing. I mean, I might not be saying the thing that's perfect for you, but I mean, it's worth a shot, right? I mean, what do you have to lose? So. At least try it out, you know, but I'm still getting the, I'm still trying to get the hang of it. But I noticed like usually at that turn, I used to hit that wall a lot because my car would just slide like it, all my drift tunes. They would just, they would keep sliding and sliding and sliding and they just wouldn't, they wouldn't stop like almost right here. But I've used the handbrake and it's, it helps a lot. But I mean, I don't really like using the handbrake too much, but it's kind of forcing me into it. Like right there, like look how long I held that handbrake for. But I mean, if I wouldn't have done that, I either would have hit the wall to the right of me by spinning out or would have freaking slid right into the left side of the wall. So they've really forced you to use the handbrake. So that's one uh, method I try recommending you guys to do. And also this tune itself, I mean, I'm not going to brag or anything. It's not the greatest drift tune in Forza Motorsport 5. I mean, there's freaking like pro drifters out there like BK Bootycrust, who like he's, he's like the best at the moment on the leaderboards. But this tune, I wouldn't say is horrible. I would say it's, oh, it's, it's over average. So if you want to win most of your drift games online and you're a good drifter, I recommend this tune. 
It's killer. Like, look how many look how many points I got on this one lap. Forty nine thousand points. Like, that's that's a pretty good amount, and you have a good shot if you can keep forty nine thousand, fifty thousand points. I mean, forty nine thousand I got on this one lap. I mean, if I would have kept going, I probably could have got easily over fifty thousand. It's not that hard to do, and you just gotta have the right tune, the right car, and the right skill just to be able to drift. So practice what I was saying if you're having troubles. For the people that are that have the drifting down pat and you guys know what you're doing, I mean, I can still learn. So leave your comments below so then I can read what you guys have to say and me and my other subscribers can learn from others people, not others, other people, oh my God, can't speak right now, people's knowledge. But anyways guys, we're at the end of the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I really do appreciate it. Like the video. That means so much. And comment. Please comment. Anyways, guys, follow me on Twitter. My link's down below. Keep updated. Thanks. See ya.